I'm here with Marcus and I just lifted this SL125 up out of the weeds. <laughs> I just lifted it out of the weeds and I got news for you gang. It rotates. <laughs> yep. So, the tires don't. Yeah. This tire that, doesn't. Yeah, it's pretty it's in pretty sad shape. But the fact that it rotates and that it's still basic what it's missing a seat and some you know, yeah, it's gotta I, be gone through. I have the seat. So up there. it's really a very interesting way to find a motorcycle. Let's put it that way. It's definitely not in good condition. But this gentleman here is not asking very much for it. So we will hopefully we'll be able to put it together. Then bringing in this uh, dead SL-125. 71, which is the first year. I haven't really checked the VIN, see how early in the production run. Basically all there. I got the seat, but of course it's it's just pretty much rust. Been laying outside for, I don't know, five, six years, according to the previous owner. Nothing to write home about. The motor does rotate still. Full of weeds, um, I cut the chain to see if I couldn't get the back wheel to, to move to get it up there. Both hubs are locked. Of course, it's going to need just about everything. And so I'm not really sure which direction I'm going to go with this thing, but, um, you know, I'm, I didn't pay very much money for it. Um, it's just kind of cool to find one in the weeds still. And this was the case on this one. This okay, is it's uh, January 5th. 2017 and um, what I'm doing is I'm just bulking this rear hub trying to get oil past that really narrow passage there trying to fill up that cavity with bulk oil and some gas I did this front one yesterday 71 SL 125 and it's still got the original nittos on it which came from the factory so those tires are about 40 I don't know, 45 years old, something like that. Maybe it's a 45 year old rubber. Those are the original nittos. Anyway, it still rotates. It's worth saving, that's for darn sure. They're getting hard to find. And, you know, I dug this one out of the weeds. And so we'll just take it one step at a time. My goal is just to try to do something very small every day. This is Mark. Okay, it is January 6th, 2017. And I want to show everybody, I took the bowl of the carburetor off, and do you see that white powder? That's what came out of this carburetor. Now the bowl's in the blast cabinet. I think I can get a shot of that right there. I think everybody can kind of see that carburetor. That's how it's just water sitting in a bowl of a carburetor for eons can do. I got the front wheel to rotate so I can push that part of it. Now the back, I have not been able to break it loose yet. I'm going to give it a shot. But if not, I'm just going to loosen the axle. And then I've taken the, the adjuster completely off and I've taken the brake arm off. So if I loosen up the axle, I think it'll just sit there and spin with the hub going around in a circle. I need to be able to move it. I want to put it back. I want to put it in the shop. And I want to be able to put it in the shed where all the other bikes are because uh, just sitting out here isn't really good for it. So this is Mark.